What's up YouTube? In this video I'll show you how to install WebDriver on Windows 10. Technically this will work on any machine that has Python and pip installed and working properly. So it'll work on Linux, it'll work on Mac, it'll work on whatever has Python installed. So let's get to it. Let's open up CMD here and we're gonna use pip to install selenium but for this to work you need to have pip installed if you don't it's not gonna work so I do have two videos that kind of show you how to install Python 2 with pip and how to install Python 3 with pip and how to have both of the Python versions working from CMD and both of the pip versions working from CMD so in the case that you already have pip running you can just probably say pip install selenium if you followed my tutorials and you installed both versions of the Python and by the way the links to the tutorials are gonna be in somewhere on the screen and probably in the, in the uh, di description below um, if you follow those tutorials, you'll have both versions of pip, so you'll need to say, like for example, if you want to install Selenium for Python 2, you'll say pip2 install Selenium. If you want to install Selenium for Python 3, you'll say pip3 install Selenium. So we're going to be installing Selenium for Python 2, so I'm going to say pip2 install Selenium, and I'm going to hit enter. Now there we go, it installs Selenium for us. Now let's open up Notepad and create a little script here to actually check that uh, the web driver that we just installed is actually working. So we're gonna say from Selenium import web driver and then we're gonna create our driver we're gonna say driver equals to webdriver.chrome and by the way guys because we're using Chrome here you need to have Chrome driver installed on your system as well and I do have a video that shows you how to do that uh, so the link is again is gonna be somewhere on the screen or down below in the description so check that out once you have it installed come back to this video so now that we have the driver, we're actually going to go somewhere. So let's say we want to go to Google, right? So HTTPS, everyone wants to go to Google. So www.google.com. And then let's do something here. Let's print, um, let's print the title of the page and let's print uh, the URL of the page and then ideally you also want to quit the driver once you're done but I'm actually going to comment that step out just because I want to show you what's being printed out here um, so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna save this to my desktop I'm gonna call this web driver underscore test dot pi save it and I can close this file. Actually, let's put it open. All right, so this creates this um, that .py file on my desktop. So I'm gonna use Python to execute this file. So I'll, I, in the CMD, I, I said Python space, and then I'm gonna drag and drop this file into my console, which is gonna put the path of the file here automatically. So now I'm gonna press enter to execute that file and let's see what happens. So there we go, uh, browser, this is a Chrome driver. This is not Chrome, this is actually the Chrome driver that you installed in that video um, on how to install Chrome driver on Windows 10. So Chrome driver popped up, it went to Google and then we asked it we ask it to print the title and the title is this right here the title is what you see in the tab 
So that's exactly what it printed out. It printed out Google, and then we asked it to print out the current URL, and that's what it did. It printed out the current URL. But for the current URL, it actually had a slash at the end there as well. I'm not sure why it put, it put the slash there, but it did. So there we go. And if we actually had this quit on here, let me just save this file again, close this web driver, and let's execute this one more time. It, it, it will actually close the browser on its own. Once it's finished running through all the steps, it will go ahead and close the browser, and then it will return the control back to you. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. If this video helped you out, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. It helps me a lot. Thank you guys for watching, and take care.